Well, we're closer to Monday's big solar eclipse, and many people will be hitting the road to get a place with 100% visibility. Storm Team 8 meteorologist Sarah Flynn joins us with our solar eclipse travel forecast, and you got a little travel of your own. We do have a little travel of our own, trying to narrow down exactly where the best visibility will be. Cloud cover, rain, all common throughout the month of April. Here in West Michigan, typically is a pretty cloudy month for us. I went ahead and took a look back at the last 10 years on April 8th. We've had anything from 0% sunshine to 99% sunshine. It brings us to an average of just below 50%. And if we take a look at a little bit of a wider view nationally, you can not only see that eclipse path, but I'll show you a different couple of models to show the discrepancy. This one indicating a good chance for some showers further down to the south towards Texas and Arkansas and potentially some clearing as close as Indiana as well as in Ohio. A different model here though shows a little bit more cloud cover in Ohio and it does hold that rain and cloud chance further down to the south. Here in West Michigan, all things considered looking optimistic, I'd say at this point. Not only temperature wise, we'll warm up to those low 60s, we'll be fairly okay to stand outside and view the eclipse. Uh, but overall, it does look like we'll have not only some clearing into the afternoon, but there will be a chance for a few pop-up showers, not only in the morning, but potentially again in the afternoon. Those would be the problem ones, as we see our maximum partial eclipse just after three o'clock. If we manage to dodge those showers, though, I think we may fall in that clear sky area and that could give us good viewing from here on out. Takeaways though is as we get closer so does our certainty will continue to improve. As mentioned 311 is the time that you'll want to be looking at the sky with those certified solar eclipse glasses and when we're about 24 hours out on Sunday I think we'll have a really good idea of where to head looking.